Hi, um, I'm Rachel Sotomayor and I'm a food teacher at Ufcom and I'm going to be talking about the hospitality and catering course. Um, so obviously the main element is the uh, food part of it, which all the kids seem to love the best, um, or the cooking side of things, where we'll learn lots of new skills. Um, and then the other side to it is um, the hospitality industry in general. So looking at types of establishment, job roles, um, and what they can um, gain in the future from the skills they learn. So we look at the uh, different job roles in the industry, right from um, a sous chef uh, to a pot wash, um, all the way up to a hotel manager um, or an events organiser and everything in between. Um, well, the, the cooking side, obviously, building on all the skills that they've learned at Key Stage 3 already, um, sort of being given a recipe and follow it as it is, um, but they can have a more creative twist on it um, and introduce different flavours, what, what, they, what, what they'd like to add to it, um, and just, yeah, making it their own. Uh, so the course is split into two units. Um, the first unit is a written exam, which is um, an hour and 20 minutes, which is done at the end of year 11. And that is based on all of the hospitality side of things. Um, so looking at the job roles, looking at the environmental health officer, health and safety hygiene, um, and looking at different catering establishments. Um, and then the, um, that's worth 40%. Unit 2 is the coursework uh, based uh, unit and that is a controlled assessment set by the exam board. Um, they will give us a topic but then you have the opportunity to develop and plan a menu um, which you then have to cook two dishes from. Um, there is a research element to it, a slight, uh, small amount of Britain work to go with it but mostly it will be experimenting with cooking and coming up with a nutritious menu for the set brief that you can put your own personal twist on. Uh, well, the, uh, the students here at Ufcom have had a really good base at Key Stage 3. All the uh, skills that they've learnt, um, all of the hygiene, health and safety and the, all of the recipes that they've learnt will be a perfect base to start the course. They'll already have a really good wealth of knowledge um, in order to do well and succeed on the course. Yes, it's a really good base for an apprenticeship, for example, um, into professional cookery, um, or you could go and do a catering course at college as well. Or even just if you go straight into work, you would have the basic skills that you, that you need. Um, for example, health and safety, um, working at basic hygiene, and um, any uh, employer would be happy with the skills you've learned. I think um, it's just really important that the students are really creative and that they just really love food and have an interest in the hospitality and catering industry. It's just so big down here, especially in the southwest, um, and there's so many opportunities that you could go into. Um, you could become an events organiser, you could um, become a, a caterer, a hotel manager, um, or even just a chef, you know, and it's a really good opportunity.